All right, uh, it is Wednesday evening. Um, uh, pretty good day at work. I uh, got a lot done. Um, so my mom did a video, I'm not too sure what. I haven't looked at it yet, so, um, I'll have a look at it before I render it. That's what I normally do, just go through the whole video before rendering it. So, here it is. Okay, Jeremy, this is a video for you. This is how to make your bed. I see all your videos and your bed is not made. It is very important to make your bed. Now, the last time I did a video like this, it was making a pumpkin pie, and my brother put it on his channel, Bill's T-Max, about three years ago. Anyway, here is how you are going to make your bed. Now, obviously, you're not going to have to make it from scratch, but because I washed your bed this morning, um, I'll show you from scratch. But it's very simple, Jeremy. So, the next time you do a video in here, I expect to see this freaking bed made. Okay, so first of all, Jeremy, you have to put your pillowcases on. It's so simple. Shake the pillowcase. Grab your pillow and pull it over. And if it doesn't want to go in, you shake it down. Look at that. Look how fast that was. We didn't even speed that up, did we, Devin? No, we didn't. Now look, we're on to pillow number two. And you need some new pillows because it looks like you've been driving on these things. Okay, you do the same thing, exactly the same. Look at this. Put the pillow in the pillowcase. Done! That's two. We've done two. Now, somewhere in here I have another pillowcase. There we are. This one's a bit harder. This one's a really fat one. This is the bamboo pillow. These pillows are awesome, by the way. Okay, so this one might take me... This might take a little more time, Jeremy. You, you have to be a little more aggressive with this one. Okay, see, you just have to tug on it a bit. And then, look, you're done. And this one you can really flop up. The other ones, your other pillows are dead. They're dead. Okay, so now we're left. You have two sheets left here, Jeremy. This is the fitted sheet. This goes on the bottom. And this is the top sheet, which you put over top of you when you go to sleep at night. So first, let's just make sure this thing is pulled tight. This is important because you don't want wrinkles all over you. I'm a perfectionist in making beds. Okay. So, now, see this little tag right here? Hopefully this works on your bed because this is how it works. Come on. Okay, so you take your fitted sheet. They have corners. There's a corner right there. And you tuck it around your bed. Then you come down here, get your other corner. Before I get the corner. Okay, there we go. Oh. Okay, and I think yours is different than mine. Okay, so we're going to start this again. Yours is different than mine. Okay, so it's okay, you get another chance at this. Okay, so tuck the corner in. Come down here and tuck the corner in. Oh my gosh, this is just so easy. Even Bill's T-Max could do it. Tuck the corner in. And one more corner. Okay, now you're going to pull it tight. And I accidentally bought you the wrong size. So you got to do lots of tucking here. Okay, now look, this is looking better already. Okay, now, I usually put the sheet on first before I put the pillows on. Now, here's a little trick, Jeremy, that I learned from my mother-in-law. You want the good side up. Or the good side to be down, sorry. You want the good side to be down so that when you flip the corner back, it all looks nice. And I did upside down. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. Jeremy, this is just give what is going on here with this thing? Just Devin, jeez. 
Are we fixed now? Yes, we're fixed. Okay. So this is how I do mine, because I'm a perfectionist. I must say it was much easier doing those pillowcases. Okay. So I fold mine over. Make sure it's all nice and flat. And even. Gotta have it even. Make sure you got enough blanket or sheets on all sides here. Okay. Now, you have to tuck them in the bottom here. Oh, it's not even. Oh my gosh, can't have that. Okay, there we go. Even. Lift up the bottom of your mattress and tuck it in. And this can be pushed back. Okay, there we go. Now, take your pillows. You only have three pillows. You should have four, but anyway, we'll make do. Okay, there's your pillows. All right, now, blanket. <sighs> now, where is the tag? The tag goes here. I hope, I hope I at least have this right. And pull it up over your pillowcases. There we go. See? Not so hard so far. It is so simple. It's like falling off a bike and getting back up and going again. Okay, now. See how much neater that looks. We'll put your Pittsburgh blanket on here. Oops, upside down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, next time we'll have to have a lesson on washing clothes, I think. Okay, now watch this, Jeremy. See? Look how clean this looks. So now you can inch, you can do your stuff on here, and it's all perfect. It's nice and neat. It makes your room look not so bad. Now watch this. Pretend, pretend you've just gotten up in the morning, okay? You've just gotten up in the morning. Oh, this is the most uncomfortable bit. You've just gotten up in the morning. Your blankets are a mess. And now I will show you how to make the bed. The phone can ring for it. So now watch. All you do, pull your sheets. There we go. Pull this up. Tuck everything in. Fluff your pillow up, pull that over the top, and straighten this guy out. And you're done! Now see how easy that is now. From now on when I watch your videos, I want to see this. Nice and neat and tidy. The end. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that, whatever it is. Oh. I'll uh, know for sure soon, I, I guess. But anyways, I guess I, sh I should t talk louder. Um, it's nice sunny. It was foggy pretty much all day. Except for like <coughs> 4 o'clock it started clearing up. And now it's sunny and hot. It's supposed to be hotter tomorrow. Not fun working in the metal quantum hut. Like, it's 26 degrees. No windows, just a big door. Fans going everywhere. It's not fun. Anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, and the winter, just freezing. Your foot are frozen, your hands are freezing, you're shivering. There's only one furnace that comes on like every two hours. And when it comes on, it stays on for like ten minutes, and that's it. But yeah. Whatever. It's a job. Get over it, done with. 
I'm used to all the leather stuff there because I'm working on it for a few years now. But, yeah, so, don't know what else to do. Uh, talking my, texting my uncle today. He wants to rent a trash, uh, a, a mini excavator, and one of those cat, uh, things, what do you call it? You like driving like a tank. I forgot what they're called, but there's like a cage around them. And you sit in it, yeah, I forgot what it's called. I mean, he'll have to get one of those too, if his truck has a trailer hitch. And when he's here, and... And, uh... And do the other ditch. It would be awesome, and I do it quickly. Alright, like, he could do digging up, he can jump the dirt in the other bucket, I can take that stuff. Be perfect. And he also wants to go try to candle pin bowling. And he wants to go to Hell's Harbor. He likes it there. Alright, now that. So. Um, he posted a video last, yesterday about Milton Steam Show. I've been there, I've been at that show before. Um, me and my puppet would go with his four tractor and his little case. And we would just drive around each to each building and stuff. It was really fun. Who the heck is that? Probably the neighbors. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And I moved away, and yeah. There's like no tractor shows over here. And the fall fair here sucks so much. Um. Yeah. So, I think that's going to be it. I got nothing else to talk about, but this will be the last video until Friday, because I told you guys from, from now on, until college, high university school stuff is over, there will be no videos on first days, kind of go out on first days nights. So, we'll see you on Friday. Um, I'll still get my mom the camera and stuff. She, she, she filmed stuff and just put it on Friday's video. So, yeah, so you guys have a good night, and we will see you on Friday.